In 2003, the life of Iron Mike was thrown into turmoil once again. One of the greatest boxers of all time was declared bankrupt. It was my ex-life. That's just how I live my life. That's my addictive personality. Recently, Tyson has even stated his boxing comeback at the grand old age of 53. So, we're going to look at some of the priciest items Tyson has splashed the cash on through the years. We'll look at his gorgeous mansions and luxury cars, as well as his quirky hobbies involving tigers and pigeons. So let's get started. In 1986, at the tender age of 20, Mike Tyson became the youngest heavyweight boxing champion of all time, a record that he still holds today. From the battle against Trevor Berbick, Tyson's career took off. He was now a superstar. He would make appearances in pop culture, such as turning out for what's now known as WWE in the 90s. Tyson became one of the most dominant boxers in history. He achieved 50 wins in his career, 44 of which were by knockout. As a result, Tyson is believed to have made around $400 million from his tremendous reign. At one point, his bank account held $300 million. However, his boxing record could have been so much more impressive if he avoided a number of controversies in his life. By 2003, Tyson was declared bankrupt. In that situation in the past, when I had these hundreds of millions of dollars, I had so much, I couldn't even do so little. He'd spent his vast fortune and was $23 million in debt. He had to sell many of his assets to reduce the financial burden. By 2005, Tyson lost his love for boxing and retired from the sport. Since then, he's made a name for himself elsewhere and began to build an empire once more. <laughs> When Iron Mike was a kid, he was bullied relentlessly. He would escape his tormentors by going onto the roofs of Brooklyn. There, he grew a connection to pigeons. In fact, a bully once slayed Tyson's pigeon. He responded by delivering his first punch that would later make him millions. Once Tyson got some money under his belt, he began investing in racing pigeons. In 2012, Tyson was interviewed about his fascination with the birds nicknamed winged rats. Within his garage, the baddest man on the planet had 3,000 pigeons in cages. He stated that a number of them cost as much as $3,000. Tyson described the cost of a lot of others as cheap. Regardless of their price, Tyson stated that he loves them all. In 2016, Iron Mike decided to splash the cash on some fancy pigeons. He tracked down three Jensen pigeons in Norway. The Jensen species is highly sought after in the pigeon racing world. Tyson bought them all for around $15,000. People can spend so much on racing pigeons. In 2019, news came out that Armando the pigeon was sold at auction to someone in China for $1.4 million. It's just my first love ever, birds, flying pigeons. Pigeons aren't the only unusual pet that Tyson has dabbled with. Over his lifetime, he has owned three Bengal tigers. When Tyson was in prison in the mid-90s, he received a call from his friend who was a car dealer. The friend told Tyson he could get tigers for him. Each one of the tigers is said to have cost him around $70,000. One of the tigers was called Kenya, who he had for 16 years. However, one night, a friend of Tyson's jumped over his fence. Kenya attacked her and severely injured her arm. Tyson gave the woman $250,000 as compensation. After that, Tyson sold Kenya. When he had the tigers, they were costing him $200,000 per year just to feed. When he was away from his house, he had to have a trained animal handler to look after them. That cost him $125,000 a year. Since Netflix's Tiger King captured the world's imagination, Iron Mike has expressed his regret at owning tigers. He now knows tigers can't be domesticated, and it was wrong for him to try to do so. Whenever someone makes a lot of cash, especially sports stars, they tend to buy a collection of luxury cars. Well, Mike Tyson is no different. After his first title win, he wanted to go extravagant with his vehicle purchase to celebrate. However, on the advice of his manager at the time, Jim Jacobs, Tyson waited until he turned 21. He then bought a Rolls-Royce Silver Spur to the tune of nearly $120,000, which is roughly $270,000 today. Another vehicle that Iron Mike had to get was the Bentley Continental SC. This model was a limited edition. As such, only 79 of them were made. Tyson purchased it in the late 90s for half a million dollars. Another luxury automobile that Tyson wanted was the Jaguar XJ220. This model was made from 1992 to 94. At the time, it was the fastest car in production. Only 275 were made. Due to its rarity, the car was being sold for 600,000 at the time. With inflation, today that would amount to over $1 million. Iron Mike has owned a number of impressive mansions throughout his life, one of which he purchased in 2016 in Las Vegas. He moved down the street into a building called Henderson Home. 
He spent $2.5 million on this house, offering more privacy than his previous Nevada home. The Henderson home comes with six bedrooms. It also has a wine cellar, marble flooring, a four-car garage, a media room, and two detached casitas. When his bankruptcy hit in 2003, Tyson sold his 50,000-square-foot home in Connecticut for $4.1 million to ease the deficit. At the time, it was the most expensive house sale in the area. The new owner was 50 Cent. This house has 52 rooms with 21 bedrooms and 24 bathrooms. It also has an indoor and outdoor swimming pool, a private cinema, a conference room, indoor and outdoor basketball courts, a recording studio, and a private nightclub. At one point, when 50 Cent was trying to sell it, the house was listed for $18.5 million in 2015. It has since been sold for just $2.9 million. By the year 2000, Mike Tyson was suffering with mounting financial issues, one of which was a massive bill from a London-based jeweler. The list of items he bought consisted of a diamond watch, a bracelet, and two pocket watches. That bill came to $630,000. According to Tyson, his manager at the time was meant to settle the bill, but for some reason, he didn't. As a result, it was taken to court by the jewelers after five months of asking for payment. One of the items was a diamond watch with a sapphire dial. It cost $200,000. Tyson also bought an emerald and diamond bracelet for $250,000. Tyson was also chased for another bill for two watches that came to $230,000. According to his bankruptcy documents, Tyson was spending $100,000 per month on jewelry and clothes. At another time, Tyson splashed $550,000 on a pair of diamond-coated Piaget Galaxy watches. He also spent $611,000 on a platinum dog tag necklace. Back in 1988, Mike Tyson married actor Robin Givens. The following year, the two divorced. During that time, Tyson decided to give Givens a piece of exorbitant furniture for Christmas. He purchased a custom-made solid gold 24-karat bathtub. Yep, you heard that right, all for $2.3 million. During their marriage, the pair lived in a five-bedroom mansion in Ohio. For a long time, it was Tyson's main base. It had tiger cages and a basketball court on the grounds. When his money problems began in 1999, Tyson sold the property for $1.3 million. However, the person who purchased the property came into legal issues. They were being investigated for money laundering. For a long time, the mansion was infamous for being abandoned. The interior looked as though it was locked in the 80s. The mansion has now been converted into a church. If you're wondering what happened to the bathtub, have no fear, we have the answer. After Givens and Tyson divorced, the bathtub was sold by Tyson to a billionaire for half as much as what he paid for it originally. After his famed declaration of bankruptcy, details emerged in the media on what Tyson was allocating his money on. For mobile slash cell phones, pagers, and monthly bills for the devices, he spent $230,000. Tyson was known for gifting his friends with expensive items. Many of the phones and pagers would likely have been for his entourage. It might seem excessive having that hefty bill on just phones. However, for comparison, when the Motorola Star TAC came out in 1996, it had an introductory price of $1,000. While Tyson hasn't let his love of technology fall to the wayside in recent years, a new app called Cameo exists. It allows fans to purchase personalized video messages from their heroes that have signed up for the service. Costs can vary from $10 to hundreds of dollars per video. Tyson hit the news in March 2020 with his involvement in Cameo. At the time, he was charging $300 per video message. According to reports, in just six hours, he made around $20,000. Recently, Tyson has increased his price to $500. In 2016, Tyson decided to pursue a new business avenue. He created Tyson Holistic Holdings, where he sold various cannabis products and merchandise. He then bought a massive 40-acre farm to grow his own product. Tyson has claimed that each month, he uses a total of $40,000 worth of his own pocket at his leisure. It's believed he makes a half a million from this business per month. In 2017, work began on creating the Tyson Ranch. It will be a luxury resort all about the special plant. The ranch will be 407 acres altogether. It'll have the world's longest lazy river within. The ranch will also hold the Tyson University. This will be a center to educate other farmers on the proper ways of growing the product. Today, Mike Tyson is worth $3 million, a far cry from his peak during his boxing career. However, he might not be done with the combat sport just yet. This year, Tyson seems set to make a Rocky Balboa-esque comeback at the age of 53. He's posted videos online of his incredible training, showing that he's still got the power and speed that made him one of the greats. One of the opponents that's been mentioned is taking on Evander Holyfield, one of Tyson's most infamous rivals. In 1997, the two would face off for the WBA Heavyweight Championship. During that bout, Tyson would bite part of Holyfield's right ear off. 
The match restarted. However, Tyson then bit Holyfield's left ear. The second act earned him a disqualification, which meant Holyfield held on to his title. That anticipated match generated an incredible $180 million at the time. In the aftermath, Tyson's boxing license was revoked, and he was fined $3 million. However, we hope Iron Mike doesn't go back to the well and nibble on Holyfield once more. And that's it. Would you like to see Mike Tyson put on the gloves one more time? Pop your thoughts below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. All of those actions really help us out. Finally, thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time.